What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Modern Horizons draft. Uh, did not feel like... Did not feel like M20, and I was hoping that this bad boy would fire, and it did. So here we are. Here we are. I don't think Aria Flame is good. Factor Fiction is great. Uh, Trumpeting Herd is great. Snow Covered Island is great. Winter's Rest is great. I think we're just going to go with Factor Fiction. That is a fine card to open. It is splashable. It is powerful. It does all the things I've ever wanted. It does all the things I've ever wanted. Bless you, Frank. We're drafting my favorite format in recent memory. I wish more people would do this before it goes away. Yeah, this format's fun. I've been enjoying it. Um, it was a little bit touch and go for me for a bit. I think Answered Prayers is strong. I also think Ranger could be strong. The problem is if you don't have any, like, one drops in your deck, this guy's just kind of meh. And this is a Phantom Draft, so I'm not super concerned with this. I don't think it's even, I don't think it's even that money. Goblin War Party, also very, very good. The amount of mediocre rares you open across limited formats is absolutely staggering. Uh, yes. <clears throat> I think I might just want answered prayers, but is blue white better than red blue? That's the question. I'm gonna take the answered prayers. I think in multiples, answer, answered prayers is good, and we can test that theory now, or we can take settle beyond reality or mana war. Ooh, this is a pack right here. Slug is pretty good, actually. I do like Slug a lot. Hold on, let me go close that door because I, f I have laundry drying and it's going to be a thing. Um, I think so I think I like Settle more than Mana War, maybe. No, I think I like Mana War better. <laughs> yeah, all right. Give me one second. Okay. Yeah, we're taking Man of War. And now... Irregular Cohort is good. Uh, I like that both of these creatures are creatures you can blink with a Settle. Not, oh, there's a Settle. I think they're taking, taking the Settle over the Irregular Cohort here. Which card do you like better? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you can't have the door open when the laundry's gone, because then it gets, it gets anxious. Uh, two, two for three, two, two for two. I don't recall Lancer Sliver being that bad. Reign of Revelation also very, very good, especially at an instant. Yeah, we're gonna take Reign of Revelation. These will be our two, our two draw spells. And I'm okay with that. Trustworthy Scout is pretty mediocre. So is Spell Snuff, to be honest. Gilded Light, probably not terrible, right? This is also decent on Flyers. I'll just take the Amorphous Axe. I don't know if we're going to play it, but... Uh, Miss Blade Shinobi actually seems pretty good. I like Phantom Ninja, but I'd rather have the, 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 the actual... The actual Ninjutsu Ninja, because... Am I in your queue? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I am in your queue. Actually, you're passing to me. So, you know. Give me the good stuff. Give me the goods. Uh. Also, you knew I was in this queue. You're in my queue, buddy. You're in my queue.
Wow, this Goblin War... Is this the Goblin War Party we opened? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is... Maybe? It's really good. Wow, the answered prayers came back? That's great. I'm a fan. Oh, I like Choking Tethers, too. Choking Tethers is a card I really don't have a problem playing. It's actually won us several games. That's not too bad. It's not too bad with, uh, we have Mana War and, uh, regular cohorts so far. <clears throat> What's wrong with this curve? Got a bunch of threes, a bunch of fours, a five, a couple twos. This curve seems fine. Mana War, pretty easy pick. We don't want this other uh, terrible red rare for limited. Yeah, we're just going Mana War. Bounce your guy after our answer, answered prayers. Seems good. I think regular cohort is the pick here again. We don't have many two drops, but there's not, there also aren't that many two drops. I don't think King of the Pride is great here. I'll just take the cohort. Cohort is basically like about oh, that's a that's a good two drop. Also, Winter's Rest, but we haven't picked up many any snow permanents really. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. Actually, this pack might just be a snow covered land in case we do want, like, Winter's Grasp. Is that what it's called? Winter's Grasp? Yeah, nothing else in this pack is super good. Uh, instead of another 4-drop, I think we just want the snow cover Land for the same reason. Another regular cohort, which you don't care about. I think Generous Gift is good enough to take here. Then when our opponent opens, like, Ren and Six, and we don't have a way to deal with it. I don't think it's great and limited, but... It's still a Planeswalker. Fairy Seer actually seems fine, especially when we have Moonblade Shinobi. Triggers our answered prayers. Yeah, I like that. That's playable. Oh, Rocks Veteran? Yeah, let's Rocks Veteran for sure. Choking Tethers, you can go here. Shinobi, you can go here. Yeah, that makes me feel better about the Rocks Veteran. Um, <clears throat> I think Reprobation is actually a fine removal spell. Just get a counter. Just get a counter spell to have one. Another Ray of Revelation? Sure. Are 
Our deck is looking pretty good, and we still have another pack left. Oh, Winds of Abandon. Oh, that's a bomb if I ever saw one. This is basically a one-sided... This is basically Settle the Wreckage. Yeah, that's not even close. Uh, I think if we had to take something else, we might just take a third Answered Prayers, because I think in multiples those cards are very, very good. Oh, Pondering Mage is nice here. Probably going to take it over the rocks, because we have a lot of four drops already. Don't mind having a five drop here. <coughs> Uh, I don't actually mind a second Fairy Seer. I think it's better than a, a Segovian Angel. If Segovian Angel had lifelink, I'd be like, okay, that's pretty good. I don't think we need a second Generous Gift. Which we might even play, to be quite honest. And the other option is Phantom Seer. Well, again, we have a lot of three drops. I think Lancer Sliver is pretty uh, disposable. Altar of Dementia. Modern staple Altar of Dementia. <laughs> uh, it might just be Ikite here, just as another two drop. <clears throat> we didn't actually get any Winter's Rest or Winter's Grass, where other card is. So I don't know how high I am on Snow Covered Plains here. Oh, I don't know if I, I, don't know if I can play an Archmage Charm. That might be a little too uh, restrictive for me. Yeah, we can take Answer Prayers. I think it's better than Lancer Sliver. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. I think we're taking this Mistblade, this Moonblade Shinobi for sure. And if either of these Eye Kites table, I'm pretty good with that. Take the Sliver out. Um, I think I actually just want Frostwalk Bastion here. If we're going to take a Snow-Covered Land, I'd rather have the Bastion because it actually acts as a creature if we have our other Snow-Covered Lands. Wow, Foil first, lead, first Sliver. That's insane. I'll take the wall. I think the wall is a great sideboard card. This guy's fine. <clears throat> oh, Pastimes is like your local store? I actually... Alan's great. I love Alan. Uh, I don't think we want a fourth answered prayers. I'll just take the decoy, which I think is fine when we have... Well, I guess nothing. Nothing really, nothing really combos with that specifically so uh, let's see if there's anything we want to cut here nothing that I can see I don't care about a martyr of soul martyr soul like we only have 13 creatures but we also have three answered prayers which are also technically creatures so moho draft Why the Sunday stream? Um, <clears throat> I needed videos for Monday and Tuesday, so here we are. A lot of times the stream is mostly out of necessity. I'm just like, oh, need a couple more videos, so got to put stuff on YouTube. <laughs> what do you need, like, content to live? Is that like your livelihood or something? Oh, iKite is right up our alley. 
How about that other eye kite? Let me see that other eye kite. Show me the eye kites. Oh, you did it. You showed me the other eye kite. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, uh, this is actually fine. Oh, look at that. Got that last pick rare. Which is great because we're uh, doing a phantom draft. <clears throat> probably cut choking tethers from here and probably something else. Probably cut something else. I think, in, I think Enduring Sliver is probably the weakest link here. And there's no real uh, downside to playing these guys. 7-7? Seven, seven? Perfect. Love it. Gorgos and three Risen Reefs does not seem fair to any person you've played against. Well, you said you just finished a draft. Did you play any of the matches, Bees? We're a soul herder? What is soul herder? I don't think I know what that is off the top of my head. I, that's, that is drawing a blank for me. Soul herder. Oh, the blue one. The blue-white one, right? Is that the one? That, like, blinks to do it every turn? Oh my god, really? Runa Cape, why do you do this? Well, let's see what's going on here. I think I just want both of these, to be quite honest. We have lots of things to do. And uh, we do want a second white because we have three angelic things in our deck. You're playing budget magic? Oh, wait, I need my reading glasses. What did you name? You named land and you hit two forests. Seems good. <clears throat> oh, that's good. Well, that's that's surprisingly apt. Don't care about either of these. Oh, a little reachy boys, a little reachy reaches. Give me that rocks veteran. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna smash right on through. Do, 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 do. Winding away. Creature, huh? And you got a venomous changeling and a witch's a ward eye witch. Is that right? Looks correct. All right, I like it. So this guy does not, so they can just go block, block. They take one, two, three, four, five, six. That doesn't seem ideal. Although if we hit a land here and we get to go win them, man, it's pretty good. Yeah, that guy's that guy's fat. <clears throat> yep, that's a fatty. Um, I actually like so they're gonna be able to attack with this guy. I want to be able to pressure them and putting more things on the board here. One, two, three, four, five.
Is there really? Is there? Actually, there's no point in attacking with the flyers, right? They just block, block, and that's a, that's that's good trades when we have winds of abandon in hand. Oh, we could just tap one though. Oh, I forgot about the tap ability. It's been a while since I'm parents and suburbs. I'm tapping to. It's like 100 here in PA. Don't know how you handle the heat and flyer. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. Well, the reason the way we handle it is AC everywhere, which I think is less common in northern states. Because right now it's been raining, so it's only 79 right now, which is pretty great. Got those bare necessities, those simple bare necessities. And now we alpha. I'll give you lots of lands, but that's okay. Yeah, only 79 is right. I was uh, just as shocked as you are when I just checked. But it's really overcast and rainy, so... It checks out. I think I want a spaghetti bucket for dinner. <laughs> Dan's, let's get spaghetti buckets when you're in Florida. Uh, I think they're dead. We tapped down their biggest guy. We can each get our own, his and her spaghetti buckets. It'll be wonderful. And people will be like, are you guys just eating spaghetti out of a bucket? And we'll be like, buddy, I don't need your judgment. I don't need your spaghetti judgment. And then they'll try to take it, and I'll be like, And, uh, and then it'll be sad for everybody. <clears throat> yeah, they're gonna be like, "Are you gonna? Are you eating that whole thing?" And I'm gonna be like, "Don't you spaghetti shame me, you bitch!" And I'll get real aggressive about it. And they'll be like, "Well, I never." And then I'll just keep eating. I'll just keep shoveling spaghetti in my mouth. My family was watching? You don't even have a family, don't even lie. Your family went to the farm upstate. Is this? Wow. <laughs> What's even happening right now? Oh my god. We're having a good time. Oh, I'll keep it. I got a two drop. I got mono two drops. Well, it's not mono because there's multiple different card types, but you get it. So we're going to go this guy into this guy <clears throat> into Ataka. Can we eat spaghetti buckets at the beach? I'm pretty sure we can. I'm pretty sure that's an option. They haven't outlawed them yet. Oh, I think you know that if it's, if it's Little Caesars, it's going to be those fat spaghettis, which is an inferior noodle. Don't get me wrong. I am a bigger fan of thin spaghetti and angel hair. I think those are both superior noodle noodles. But, you know. And then use them to build sandcastles. The spaghetti? <clears throat> to which she clarifies, the buckets. <laughs> oh, that's some thunder, all right. 
That is indeed some thunder. Oh wow, there's a lot of answered prayers that don't actually trigger each other. I think we can take one more, one more beaten. We're not blocking. If we can get land, land, I think we can. I think we can win instead of abandon some things. But you know, what do I know? Thunder, the th thunder. You're a superior noodle. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yep, that guy's terrifying. Oh no, we don't have enough white to do all this. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think we're just gonna go this guy, and then maybe we generous gift something. Actually, I like blocking, uh, oh no, okay, that's fine. Like, we can block here, take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, ooh, that's bad. I guess we can block here and then generous gift something else and just hope we hit a land. That feels bad. Like, their whole deck is big, fat idiots. Is there a way we win this game by... I guess it's hard to say when they have cards in hand. Gonna leave my whole life behind. <clears throat> Alright, so these both have trample. Which is pretty good. So we can go block 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. We could just generous gift this guy. If we generous gift our own thing, we get a bl another blocker. And we get to activate both of these to gain three. So we go to 13. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do we get rid of? The eye kite? Could get rid of the decoy. Just trade decoy. We gain two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. And then, like, there's no way we can actually deal an extra two points next turn, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Nine if we draw another card. I think we just want to get rid of this guy. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we just go to one here. And then we hope for land. Oh, that's not a land at all. It's the worst thing you could have drawn. I mean, it's not the worst thing you could have drawn, right? But <clears throat> it's not great. Uh, one, two. All right. Well, three blockers to three creatures. So if they don't have if they don't have an answer, and we get to draw a creature to attack with all these answered prayers, we could be okay. Gonna leave my whole life behind. Yeah, we could have actually killed one of our lands, but we want to be able to play wins for overloaded because that's broken. Okay. I accept. Oh, they're, they're cycling. They're digging. Like, we're triple blocking because we have to. Okay, we are in combat. One, a two, a three, one. And now we're crossing our fingers for a creature of some sort. 
on creature creature for the win we can do it we can do it I believe in the heart of the cards Sammy what's going on good seeing you buddy ready one time that's a creature See what happens when you believe in the heart of the cards, guys? Uh, bottom. Bottom. We could still be dead. We only have one blocker now. Oh, God. Of course they have something. Unearth. Oh, that's a cycle. Rune cape. Oh, God. More? Why? Oh, come on. Really? Tornado. Really? Not great, Bob. That's just dumb. That's dumb. Oh boy. Not great, Bob. Actually, this card seems great here when they have mono 3-3s. Three threes. Yeah, decoy's always kind of meh. What up, Carl? What do you guys think? Is you think it's a better value to buy boxes of definitely keeping this hand boxes of Modern Horizons right now? I need singles from the set, but it almost seems like I mean for the price of like one Ren and Six, and one other Mythic like an Urza or something like it's almost better to just buy a box. So I'm not sure what the better value is. If you got a box that's higher than the cost by like 30 bucks, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. What if the box is like, I mean, the lowest price I've seen on boxes is 183. Like, Blunderbra, what's the price on the box that that would have the the box higher than the singles? <clears throat> we should have played... Oh, we should have played a card first. Actually, I guess we're just going to... Yeah, we can just hold the Shinobi in hand. Uh, bottom you, but I'll keep the cohort. Uh, Carl, this is called, this is Magic Online. This is MTGO. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That was a mess. Our start was pretty good there. Don't kick me out. Let me respond. Come on. Come on. It doesn't. There we go.
Oh, Runa Cave, welcome back. Even though I just defeated you, I appreciate... Well, I guess that wouldn't... I don't think that sentence makes sense because that would imply that I would appreciate it. It, I, You know what? Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. You're awesome. <laughs> like, this isn't going to work the way I want it to work, so I'm just going to thank you. Uh, I'm just going to thank you. Uh, yes, I'm a hundred percent in on this hand. Interesting. By beating us and sending us to the Shadow Realm? Yeah, it's easier to subscribe when you're in the Shadow Realm, to be honest. See, now the question is, do I answer prayers first, or do I Moonblade Shinobi first? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna answer prayers first. I actually appreciate Orange Juice with Pulp. I never drew my two Rot Widows. What is a Rot Widow? Is that the one two that makes another dude? Comically enough, I don't actually... Oh, Rot Widow Pack? The uncommon one? Yeah, that one's pretty good. Oh, they're just gonna make like mono... Mono Bears dot deck over here. I mean, we have Mana War, which is pretty cool. We can go Man of War into Answered Prayers. I guess. Wow, I scale Kotal. Main phase. That's fascinating. Well, we don't want to bounce this, but we can't really, like, we can play Reprobation on it and play Decoy. I actually think that's fine. Reprobation on this guy's good because, oh, it doesn't have, it doesn't have Death Touch, though. It only, they only have, oh, wait, three other Snow Permanents? Yeah, that seems fine. Let's get in there. And now I wish I played one of the more expensive cards. I think I still just want to put this on here, though. <laughs> like, if it gets Death Touch, it's just removal, right? Chat Frank banished me to the Shadow Realm and forced me to resubscribe. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, I think you, you knew what we were... You know what it was. You knew what this was. I'll block one of these guys, and if, uh, yep, that seems fine. Look at this, look at this mana base. What is even happening?
My grandpa gave me those cards. Fantastic. Do it. Say goodbye to Exodia. I feel like these bears are not really... Uh... I We played the Iula's Influence once and it was not super impressive. Because, like, you don't actually have that many excess lands you want to get rid of, in my experience. Okay. Oh, you got rid of my little my little kitey boy. Oh, that's just sad. Oh, that's just sad. Hmm. I kind of like factor fiction here. I also like generous gifting one of my lands to block and tap. So if we generous gift to land, which I think is totally fine, then tap this guy down and then attack for five. That seems good. Uh, yeah, actually that's fine. Tap this dude down. Seems like a fairly good block for us. Oh, I see. It's worse now. Oh, it's worse now. <sighs> All right. All right. So three, four, five. Regrowth on Tranquil Thicket. Okay, that's just a bear then. Can I just get a creature here? It's not enough. I mean, we can just play this guy. It's not ideal, but I still want. I just want to keep pressure up with this. Four, five, six. Say goodbye to Exodia. Oh, I thought they were gonna make a beast. I, mean, I thought they were gonna make a bear there. They did not. Four, eight, nine, ten. This seems like a fine block. We have to keep one of our two. Uh... Yeah, we basically traded a Moonblade Shinobi and a Zalfir and Decoy for uh, two Igneous Elementals, so. Let's main phase this. I don't know what the split's going to be, but I'm okay with finding out, I guess.
see what we get here. Um, a regular cohort seems like the best card here. And now we'll just see what they have. I assume they have a land they're going to trade with Mana War, which is fine. Yep. And this is what? When it leaves the battlefield, so we can actually settle beyond this guy and get the irregular cohorts next turn and get another card. And then trigger this, so that seems good. I assume they named Creature, so they got a Crossan Tusker. Also, having scale up in your deck is pretty relevant. That's good to know. I think we're doing well. I think our deck is pretty cool. I feel like this wall is just very, very good. Zalfir and Decoy also not bad against their 2-2s. Two Maybe I just submit like this. Take the generous gift out. It's very versatile, though. If you submit and then you can't move the cards afterwards, it means they're loading because you both submitted. So. That's a 2-2 two, two for 2. Ah, uh, Mana War over Answered Prayers, I think. Because at the point in the game where we actually get this card back, I imagine Mana War is going to be more relevant. And I was like, oh, Answered Prayers one time. But no. I don't want either of these, unfortunately. I just don't think they're doing anything for us at this particular time. But that just means we're probably going to draw land. Anonymous Red, thank you so much. Happy 50th return from the Moon University. If I sub for another 49 years and 8 months, we can say the same about our middle-aged sub baby. Wow, that's... I think that's true. No blocks. Either way, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are great. Oh, main phase, Reign of Revelation. So they discard a card, they play a land, they go down to five. Sounds fine. And we're just going to rain a revelation ourselves. We have a lot of islands islands to discard here, so not super concerned with that. Oilands. What is this guy, Tutu? Well, that's unimpressive. They discarded Winter's Rest? Interesting. Winteresting, if you will. Oh, it's been 50 at Return from the Moon. Oh, yeah, because the Apollo mission. Yeah, 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 right on. I thought you were actually just saying nonsense. And, uh... No, I totally, uh... Yeah, that's cool. I appreciate that. 
considering I have a moon watch, I'm a big fan of the moon landing. I, yeah, if you will, I will never. Yeah, that's that's so like you though. T typical, typical Chris. Oh, uh, it's kind of like moon shoes, only only different, only not the same. Well, let's get in there with this guy. Because next time we can play Pondering Mage and still attack with the wall of 1,000 swords cuts, sword cuts. Okay, cycle Tusky Boy. Get a snow-covered forest, snow-covered mountain, sure. You want a second red for your igneous elementals. Pyrohemia? Doesn't make sense. Pyrophobia, rather? That doesn't make sense. Geomancer's Gambit, destroy target land, it's controlling my search library for basic land, put it on the battlefield and shuffle the library. So you're just going to get another snow-covered land. So you basically cycle this to swap lands, is really what it does. So I'm tempted to play Rocks of Veteran or Mana War, bounce this guy, attack for a bunch. I mean, this guy will come down and tap a thing, but I don't think we really care about that. I guess we're only attacking for two more here, though. So we can Pondering Mage, I think. Oh, yes. <laughs> top. Uh, top. Top. No, we're not shuffling that. Oh boy, that's a that's a spicy meat ball. Hey Frank, big fan of YouTube. Really good to catch live because I'm in Australia, but glad to be able to stop by this morning and keep up the great content. I've been it's been helping me through some tough times. I guess I'm trying to say hardest of course. Thank you so much for saying so, man. I'm really glad to hear that. I'm oh, sad that you've been going through some tough times though, man. Really sad about that. Sorry to hear it, dude. But I'm glad to hear that I have done uh, something in some small part. It means a lot, man. It really does. And thank you for the support. You are awesome. I see. I see. That is a thing, isn't it? Wow. What did you what did you name? Creatures. So you got literally nothing. Okay, cool. That was just a zero for. Is this when it when it dies? You may have a deal damage equal to, to any target. So equal to three. So it doesn't kill anything. Oh, okay. It's not coming at us. Yeah, I'll just take six here. Yeah, this seems like an easy choice. Two six sixes and a two two that doesn't trigger. And then we still have mana war and settle. Yeah, this card's bonkers. Get your little landies out of your deck. You got it. What do you kill? 2 1? 1 1 flyer? Okay. You got on board of these floaty boys.
Regrowth, Winter's Rest. That seems good. I mean, we can settle, get rid of this, blink whatever they put the Winter's Rest on, so that's okay with me. Or we can just blink this guy and... I mean, I think they're dead either way, right? Got it. Lava Darte. No worries, we get to be able to watch someone who has fun with the game and has emotions rather than me. Um, I hear this a lot, and it, you're not wrong. The thing about it is, like, just because you're a magic professional, just because you are good at the game of magic, uh, does not mean you are good at being entertaining or being, uh, you know, a presence in front of a camera, right? Like, those are not synonymous. So, uh, as someone who has personally worked towards that, uh, I appreciate you saying so, man. It means a lot. Thank you. But yeah, there are definitely some pros out there who, uh, are very rigid, let's say. Rigid and, uh, <laughs> robotic is an interesting term. Yeah, I can, I can definitely see that, uh, being applicable. No offense to any of them. You know, they are, that's just, that's just life. We are currently doing quite well right now in this however we are known for our two ones so this could be the end of an era Wasn't that long ago that we had that chode in chat that complained about how animated Frank got while losing and the guy who didn't like Mike eating nugs. Yeah, the guy who complained about me losing was literally someone who came to my stream to watch me lose after they like play, made a play against me or something. And they were like, I just wanted to see how you'd react. And I'm like, eh, that's weird, man. That's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, they were like, why are you show so much, so much emotion? It's just a game. And I'm like, but yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. Like, just because it's a game doesn't mean I want to lose or because I don't want to have, um, you know, good games, you know, whatever. Wait, hold on a second. This dude's, this dude's, this dude's name is like a bunch of those, uh, a bunch of the, this face. A bunch of those jobbies. That's pretty funny. Ooh, three, but we also have this. I'm going to keep it because of Fairy Seer and because of being on the draw. That's what we're going for here. Oh, look at that. Look, we're doing it. I will keep a planes and nothing else. Oh, wow. I can keep both of these. Put on top. Put on top. That's great. Oh, that's just great. Unease Joker. Travis, welcome back, buddy. Haven't been on for a minute. I miss Cube. They're doing like a week of Cube in a week. So it's going to be like seven days of cube. So I'm going to be sure to get infinite cubes in. Get your stipulations ready, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, say goodbye to Exodia. Wow, that guy's... I kind of just want to play this. Jeez. I really don't like the... The potential that you're showing me here. Yeah, that's too scary for me. Too scary for me.
Oh god, they're gonna discard like three lands. Two lands? Alright, that ain't bad. Thank you. Jack of all trade, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. And if you guys are new here, feel free to uh, click those follow and subscribe buttons. They definitely help me out a ton. And I stream at least five days a week, so you'll definitely get... You'll definitely be able to support me frequently. Think of all the support, guys. Kill it before it lays eggs. That's all I really want to do. Always yield to that. Replay your beautiful fairy face. What do we got here? Oh, two lands? Bottom them both. I do not need a sixth and seventh land at this juncture. Five days a week. When Q is up, it's like seven days a week, 17 days a week, 25 days a week, 91 days a week. It's a lot. 91 days a week. This is a lot of cultivators. Okay, 3-3. Three, three. That's fine. They're really cycling through a lot of cards here. So I'm tempted to actually exile this one, but then they just block here, right? So it doesn't really matter. And yeah, we'll just take four. It does not have trample, though, which is good to know. Well, that's obnoxious. I kind of just want to settle, get rid of this guy, and... I mean, I don't care about the eye kites at this juncture. I think we're going to play this. Play an eye kite. Take 7, go to 10. I think that's okay. We're going to gain a life, go to 11. Get rid of a dude. Regular cohort. One, two, three. And now we can settle Blink the cohort and get rid of either the 4 4 or the Lana War tribe or maybe whatever they play. We could also just double block a 3 3, which seems good. Our opponent is very cultivated. Their name being Mr. Black Suit, I would assume it is a gent. That would be my assumption. I think going to five here is fine. Unless they have multiple pumps out, we're just going to combat. All right. Well, settle beyond reality is worse, but getting rid of the oh, now it's now it's very good. So three, four, five, six. Oh, we're so close. Uh, Pondering Mage, I'll keep you. Put the other one on the bottom. One, two. This is four, and then next turn it's another four, so. It 
And if they're able to get rid of both of these, I guess we're dead. Actually, could we have, maybe we could have won last turn, right? Like, we have a bunch of, we couldn't have activated this, though, is the problem. We could have just, we don't have a way to activate this before combat if we're, if we're planning on playing. Actually, we could have played Eye Kite. Attacked with everything, slipped this in. Maybe we would have actually won there. Uh, Changeling is not doing us any favors here. Is there any giant growth? Is there a, is there a plus three, plus three? I actually haven't played D and D surprisingly. Uh, convert mana cost equals green. Set. Modern Horizons. Uh, equal to green. Uh, convert mana cost equal to green. Hold on. I just want to make sure I'm not going to lose to like something stupid. Oh, it's not even, it's not going to show up. It's just showing me the whole set, I guess. I don't think Giant Growth is in the set. Giant Growth is in M20. Elvish Fury is in the set, but that's only plus two, plus two. So we take five. I think this is a fine block. Okay, so I kite. This guy have breach? No, okay, they're just waiting for it to see if we can play creature. Sure, cool. Man, our deck is great. Just fantastic. There's definitely too many sets at once. I agree with that. Uh, actually, maybe I want Wall of a Thousand Cuts again. Wall is just always coming in, but we did submit too quickly, so we don't get the chance to do that now. Oh, no, we didn't. I'm actually going to submit with it and just play 41 because we do have a lot of manipulation in, in Pondering Mage, Double Fairy Seer. Uh, but that did not matter. I will keep this hand. This hand seems great. If we can hit our lands... I'm going to feel good about it. Yeah, there's definitely times where I'm brewing standard decks, and I'm like, ooh, what if we played this card? And then I'm like, oh, wait, that's literally a Modern Horizons card. We didn't even get to play the spicy 41, right? 32 plus 6 plus 2. Yeah, we actually we couldn't even go to 41. They wouldn't even let us. What's going on on Drum Tuna? Always a pleasure, my friend. I would like to play Answered Prayers next turn. So if we can hit a Plains, I'm in. I'm feeling it. Oh, either way, I guess bouncing this guy is also just just such such value. See you later, buddy. All right, now we need a white source. Post haste. Post haste. Making dinner. Solid. What's for dinner? Flawful? That's that's not that's not what we're looking for. Still okay with this guy though. Actually, yes. Wow, really? No way. No way did I nail that on the first try. No actual way. That's insane. I haven't ventured too far into my vegan recipes yet, but this is... A yeah, it's... Oh, Falafel's fantastic. As far as non-meat alternatives, Falafel is just a great choice. It's filling. It's got a lot of flavor. Oh man, give me one land. Oh my god. Oh, it's just brutal.
we're actually not getting rid of this guy because they can't recast this in for like two turns and even when they do like we can just tap it down Ditlo, thanks so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful day, my friend. All right. You got it. We're just going to play Answered Prayers and Decoy. Uh, gain a life. Attack with everything. Rocks Veteran is just a busted magic card sorry i've got an insane delay have you ever tried to catch a stream from your phone while on a train going 130 kilometers per hour through rural australia climbing onto the luggage rack for more signal it's an adventure i'm gonna be honest with you man i don't think i've done that huh i feel like maybe but i don't think so though i don't think so oh that's really sad that you would do that i expected better from you So they have to block here, which is great because Saddle to Rhyme Stag is a really solid threat. And I think we're pretty far ahead. Like any creature is lethal, really. All right. 3 0 with the Modern Horizons. This format is sweet. I had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time. Thank you for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out at manatraders.com. You can check me out at coolstuffinc.com and you can find promo codes and links in the description below. So definitely uh, check those sponsors out and help support the stream. You can also head on over to Twitch and either subscribe or follow. Both of those things help me out a ton and I really appreciate them. Because I know if I didn't appreciate them, you guys probably wouldn't do it. What's the point, right? Let's open this treasure chest and see if there's a Deathrite Shaman in here. I don't know why there would be. 25 and a Giralf's Messenger. I have no idea what that's worth, but probably nothing. Thank you guys for hanging out. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.